Hi guys, Jeremiah Bench from Julio's Delicatessen here. Today I'm going to show you how to make guacamole. Uh, we're going to need a few things, some perfectly ripe avocados, some Roma tomatoes, uh, some serrano chilies, I'm going to use about three of these, some white onions, some lime, some cilantro, and some salt, and let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is char the outside of these serrano chilies a little bit. So I'm just going to put them in a dry skillet, put this over high heat, let them heat about oh, three or four minutes. So after these have been cooking for three or four minutes, they're mostly cooked through and you can see some of the skins are starting to blister just a little bit. Uh, at this point, I'll uh, slide the pan off the heat, get the flame really high, and I'll actually take some tongs and hold these right in the flame just to blister the rest of the skins. And you want to get the skins completely blistered all the way around so they're basically, uh, they look black. So now that all three of these are completely charred, I'm just going to set them aside, uh, let them cool down while I work on the rest of the ingredients. So while we let those chilies cool down, we're going to go ahead and work on the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to mince some white onion. So I'm going to take this white onion and scrape it into a colander. I'm just going to run it under some cold water for about 15 seconds. Take some of that bright onion flavor out of it. I'm just going to let that drip dry while I work on the tomatoes. So now that you've got your tomatoes diced, you can just set those in with that white onion. Set that aside while you mince some cilantro. Now you can set that cilantro in with the onion and tomato and go to work on the serranos. So with these serranos that we charred earlier, you really uh, just need to rub the skins off and they should come off very easily. They're really thin, papery skins uh, and since we charred them, uh, that should work pretty easily. You can run uh, either your fingers or the chilies under some cold water if you need to, to to get that off. Now with those burnt skins mostly off, you want to cut off the stem end and you want to cut the seeds out of the middle of these serranos. Now with the seeds removed, the stems removed, and most of those skins removed, you're ready just to finely mince this and uh, set it aside with the white onion and tomato and cilantro. So we're ready to go to work on the avocados. The first thing you need to do is remove the little stem, and then take your knife and run it all the way around the outside, stopping at that big pit that's in the middle. It should open up like this. You can just use the corner of your knife to remove the pit. Scoop that out. If you've gotten ripe enough avocados, that should come out very easily. Just set that in your bowl. So I've put four avocados in the bowl. I'm going to give that just about a half a lime worth of lime juice and about a teaspoon of salt. I like to use a potato masher, you can use a fork, you can use a spoon, really anything, and as long as these are ripe enough avocados, this should happen pretty easily. Uh, but I think the potato masher leaves them nice and chunky, which I think makes for a better guacamole. So I'm just going to kind of roughly smash these avocados, mix in that salt and that lime juice. And then I'm going to add the onion, the Roma tomato, the cilantro, and the roasted serrano chilies. Thoroughly mix that. And there you have it, Julio's Delicatessen's signature guacamole. Enjoy.